welcome to another episode of Sailing Catalpa. I need a haircut. Lee's gonna chop my hair today. But... How short do you reckon, guys? Like here? Maybe a bit longer. Like a bob? Or just a trim? Or I should just shave it. Another magical day here in paradise. He's gonna chop my hair today, but before he does that, he's gonna brush it because there's some dreads. So it might take a while. We'll be back real soon. Half the job done. I should probably brush my hair. Could be shot not looking after your hair like that. Never cut hair before. <laughs> Have you? No. Have you not cut my hair before? I had a haircut about 18 months ago, that was my last one. So. It's a little bit long. Can you sit still for the. For the uh... How long is it? Is it down to my butt? Yeah, it's pretty close. It's not going to be in a minute though. Did you watch a YouTube video? <laughs> Did you want the bob? About there? No, I don't want a bob. About there? Oh, like that. Stop it. It's okay, I trust you. I don't Head think back this for is a second, darling. I think you're supposed to even. Head back for a second, darling. Not that far. What do you reckon, Belle? Is that that much? A bit higher. Nah, we'll start lower because if I go crooked, I'll slowly straighten it up as I go up. Okay. You know what they say? Measure twice, cut once. Out there, Belle. What do you reckon? <laughs> I reckon. Kind of a dead bit, though. That That's could be a hairdresser, I reckon. We got the technique now. It's actually crooked. Don't move your head. Just stay there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Oh, much. don't move. You just ruined it. <laughs> Did look straight. Oh, yeah. It still feels quite long. Well, you have long hair, darling. It's going to feel long. Is that it? That's it. I don't know why these hairdressers take so long when you go in there. <laughs> Try and make them feel like they've uh, earned their money. I don't well, know. I didn't get a massage. Well, there's no time for massage. I've got to go spearfish and get fish for dinner. You know what they do? They, they throw a line and they do that bit. Yeah. And it's easier to cut in little bits. Yeah, I just cut the whole lot. <laughs> makes, it's just, that's, here, I can just feel the salt water coming out of it. Does it look healthier? It looks marvellous. You reckon I've cut enough, Belle? You cut a little more. I reckon that's good length, Belle. What do you reckon? <laughs> Oh, if I was a tradesman and I pulled out my level there, it'd be st straight across. Bang on. There oh, you go. There you go. I'm going to go test it out. We're going to jump in and have a, s a spear and um, we'll see if it comes up all tangled again. <laughs> Next time I get a haircut, I'll be like this. Hey there, turn around. <laughs> We've got to get ready for spear fishing, so this is what we do. All right. Turn around. Thank you. You're being a naughty kid. Ow! You're not there. Ow. Fella. 
helping. She's helping. Uh, <laughs> See, this little two seconds of work here that I put in avoids me having to brush Sarah's hair for the next hour after spearfishing. No, you only do it like once a month. Oh, done. Ready for spearfishing. Oh, good. Who says he can't do everything? Thank you. <laughs> It's not real even. <laughs> it's not real even when he planted it, but that's okay. He said it's even. Um, and we're gonna go spearing now. He's gonna go catch some fish. Montage. Good I got it. Sumatra coastline, this is typically what you get as a Sumatra. These massive flat fronts that come in, and uh, this is sort of from the north. The northwest ones seem to have the most in them, but um, we're gonna go and hide on the lee side of the island over here just till this passes because you can just you don't underestimate them. They can be like that, and then within a few minutes, you can literally minutes, you can have like 50 knots. So we'll see how this one pans out. Um, I think we'll just go and get covered behind the island for now and, and just wait this out. And then here's our little beach where we usually pull up, which is on the windward side if that thing comes in. We're usually only about 30 metres from the beach, which 50 knots probably would see us on the beach. Because our scope in there is very little because it's very tight, it's just amongst the reef in there. So that's definitely what you've got to watch out for on the Sumatra coastline. And they can just be on top of you so quickly. Hold on to your undies, ladies and gentlemen. This one could be gnarly. And there's something over here too. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Oh, that's, uh, in. Yeah, just got the anchor down. <laughs> We had two squalls coming towards us, and they could be nothing, but we've learned to prepare for the worst, as we've had 50 knots come from nowhere before.
Dante. Got 25 knots. 20, 25. Twenty-five knot winds was all it had, which was lucky, and it quickly passed. We hadn't dived this side of the island before, so we jumped on in for a look. this cute little mantis shrimp. got a couple of nice coral trout for dinner. Thanks for joining us guys. Please like, subscribe and we will see you next time.